Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire club and what I have going in FIFA 20. So far, what I do have is about three squads that I have made. I also do have but a bunch of players that I don't even have in any squads. And of course, I have loads and loads of coins that I have made over the year. So to show you guys the first squad, this is probably my favorite squad out of them all. Of course, you don't really see too many meta players in this squad. I personally don't like to use meta cards, and I personally won't, uh, don't like to use gold cards. That's just a preference of mine. So in the center mid, left wing, and right wing position, I could basically put any player in it. I've just started to use this Haaland card. I really do enjoy it, to be honest. I, I normally use this uh, David Villa in that position. That's normally how this squad goes, but I don't know. I just wanted to try some uh, try Haaland out. I also do have Allison in net. Got Cuadrado, Sanchez, Joe Gomez, Tagliafico. I got Crespo right here. Gattuso, Haaland, Guardiola, Simon, and Walcott. In game, I do actually have a couple of formations I use. Currently, I am using this one, which is very different from what most people will use. I do use a 3-1-4-2. It's pretty fun in my opinion. I got uh, Guardiola, Joe Gomez, and Davinson Sanchez in the back. Along with basically four attackers. And then I just make substitutions. I also do, do have these as my custom tactics. Constant pressure is really scary to play against and with. Because you can definitely get uh, countered very, very easily. But with constant pressure, you can also make a lot of plays with it. Because your players will just constantly try to get that ball. And then you can use this fast buildup that I do have to go on a counter attack. Or just to overpile in the box. So along with that I do have a bunch of players on the bench. Most of these players are on other teams. But some of them are definitely just super subs. Like a player like Kent. Even though I could be playing him. I really do like the Simon card so I won't be playing that of course. But on to the next squad. I have, let's see, I have a League 1 squad that I currently I'm using as well. It's really fun in my opinion. I really do love this Sanchez and Simon. That's why I do use this squad. Of course, the left back isn't the greatest. I do choose to sub him off around halftime because he's just not that good. As well as that, you do see a couple players that have been in the other squad like Gattuso and the two center backs and goalkeeper. It's just because I really do like those players. And they do help me in the defense. So with this team, I also do have about the same formations and stuff along those lines. I have a 4-2-3-1, 4-5-1, and mainly right now, I'm using the 3-1-4-2. Of course, you can see Gattuso, Renato, and Chowell are in the midfield. Same backline basically as the last team. And of course, four attackers. It's a really, really good custom tactic, in my opinion, if you're trying to have fun. As you can see, of course, in my custom tactics, I'm just basically loading my attackers into the box. That's all I'm really trying to do. Score as many goals as possible. I have as much fun as I possibly can. I also do have one more squad I, I would like to show you guys. It, I think it is this one right here. Not really sure why it's in concept. Okay, I, now I understand. I do have a couple players that need to be switched around. Over here would be Allen. Um, let's go see. And yeah, it's going to be the Red Foot Champs Allen. But yeah, this is basically my other team. So with this team, I also do, of course, have just another fun uh, little team to play around with. So I can use different players like Paulinho, Edir. I got Hulk, Jonathan, Politano. And then I have some of the more common names like Allen, Smedo, Pique. I got uh, Diego Carlos, Ter Stegen, and then I have an untradeable window that I'm using. Definitely, once again, a really fun squad. Really do love this team. Like a player like Jonathan, he's very, very good. Five star weak foot, four star skill moves. And you can see just he's a tank in the striker position, in my opinion. Along with Ed Dare, he does have a uh, finesse shot trait, so he's definitely really good up there as well. But now to show you guys the uh, rest of the club, I also do have a couple more special cards aren't even in this um team all right so to go on with the special cards that i do have in my club i don't really care for the gold if you guys see any players that you guys think are pretty cool like i got this jacko at the start of the game it was a really fun card to use at the start it was a grind to get 
I also did get these two guys from my icon packs. If you guys did see the videos, of course, I got Klosa, who, I mean, I just used him in squad battles one time, so he's not very good. Uh, I haven't even started this Alan Shearer yet. I got Smash Run on just like a couple of days ago because he got re-released. Got that Schweinsteiger as well. Got a couple of investments as well. If you, you guys will see players like PZ and Bruno Fernandez, they're just investments really. I also do have like the Giovinco. I really did enjoy this card when he was around. Vardy, Corona. We got the Akuna. There's also many other great cards in this club in my opinion. This Waka is definitely a card I really, really did love. 364 games played. Basically all the way from the start in my opinion i've been playing this card 107 goals 100 assists really really great card in my opinion i also do have this Digne, who i stopped using currently even though he I, he did serve really well in my team i also have zaha don't really use that card um let's see is there anybody else couple investments nothing too special here just a bunch of investments uh i got this promise the pookie that came out at the start of the year I got this Murillo. I don't even think I've used him. Okay, I have. I don't remember when. Um, what else do I have? I got the Rusillian. Haven't even used him. Don't really plan on it, but I just got it for the fun of it. I got this Barella from the Ones to Watch pre-order pack. Nothing too special. I did use him for a little bit, to be honest. I needed him for the uh, Politano link. He actually is pretty good. Got the awesome in. Um, just a couple bad red player picks. I ha also have the League One SBC nothing too special apart from that i don't think yeah i also do have this akimi munir um i believe that should be it there's mckenny i did use that card for a little bit i'd say that's just about it i also do have a couple more cards nothing too special delph gets in fernandez and morales uh no nothing too special there so now to show you guys my transfer profit, if you can, you guys could already really see it, I have 13.8 million coins in a transfer profit for the entire year. Uh, I also am on the monthly for at 5.2 million coins just for the month. And in the past three days in weeklies, I have made about 730,000 coins in just three days. Really, really good month for me in my opinion. I also do have a lot of stuff on my transfer list that I have uh, invested in or slash I'm just trying to trade and flip with them. This Nesta I picked up at 310. I'm trying to sell him at 350 because he normally goes at about 360. I got a bunch of these other cards like Benzema's. You guys could see all the prices. In my opinion, really good cards. I can make about 5,000 coins per card. A um, bunch of other cards you guys could see. I got a bunch of Trippiers, Sabitzers. Like, here's a whole page of uh, trip years, all bought around the same price, pretty much. Uh, just a bunch of other players, like Delaney, Decore, I got the Kane. These Varans I picked up at 300, because this guy was about 350 just a couple of days ago. Smato picked up about at 90 for it, okay, yeah, decent. And then I just have a couple other discard in form investments, nothing too special apart from uh, that. Got a couple gold cards that I'm just trying to flip real quick. I approximately have about uh, 6 million coins if I was to sell everything. Of course, transfer profit doesn't really mean that's how many coins I have. Even though I have about 13.8 million transfer profit, I have about 6 to 6.5 million actual coins. Along with a bunch of untradeable cards that I have spent loads and loads of coins on. Definitely an ultimate team that I just like to have fun with, honestly. I just use these cards. I switch teams all the time. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the year club tour. So happy New Year's to you guys. But other than that, guys, that is the end of the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.